Brandon Novick sent his well wishes to former Jackass co-star Bam Marjor amid his battle with addiction and mental health issues. I'm praying for him, Novick exclusively told Page Six at the Rock to Recovery concert event in Los Angeles Saturday night. He is a sick man as I once was, so I understand where he's at, and I just hope he finds the willingness somewhere in his journey to buy into suggestions that can maybe make his life better. Novick attended the nonprofit's sixth annual event alongside other sober actors and musicians including MTV personality Travis Mills, Korn's touring guitarist Wes Gere, and Seven Dust Sonny Mayo. He was the recipient of the Service Award from Rock to Recovery, which aims to help those recovering from drug and alcohol addiction through writing, playing, and performing music. The Viva La Bam Alum, 44, had been best friends with Marjorie, 43, since childhood. They skated together for years before Novak's drug use got in the way of his career. In a video posted to Instagram in 2019, he recalled being a homeless heroin addict living on the streets of Baltimore while Marjorie went on to secure sponsorships and deals. But Novick said in the video that Marjorie never gave up on him and even opened up his home to help him get clean and sober. The former professional skateboarder, who told Page Six he felt discarded as a junkie with a needle in his arm, eventually quit using in 2015. However, the tables have turned since he got clean eight years ago. Marjorie has been battling his own addiction for years while his friends and former co-stars have lovingly taken a step back from his life. We're not speaking at the moment, Novick told us at the Rock to Recovery event. He's kind of in a different place than I am. I'm just waiting for him to become ready and willing, and we'll be there. And until then, we just kind of live two different lives at the moment, Novick added. Since getting sober, Novick has opened his own treatment center called Redemption in his home state of Delaware. He has also founded Novick's House, a sober living facility to help people in recovery transition back into the world after rehab. As for Marjorie, the former reality star was ordered by a judge last week to wear an alcohol-detecting ankle monitor for at least 30 days. He must also attend weekly Alcoholics Anonymous meetings and comply with outpatient treatment recommendations. The new bail conditions were set Thursday after Marjorie was, was taken into custody earlier this month when police officers responded to a call about an argument between a man and a woman in the parking lot of the Radnor Hotel. Cops said he was in an intoxicated state, with his blood alcohol content measuring 0.18, and that he admitted to kicking a car windshield so hard it cracked. The former skateboarder must stay in the Philadelphia area until he stands trial for an unrelated assault case stemming from a physical altercation with his brother, Jesse Marjorie, in April. Bam told the judge that he had been in rehab in San Diego, Cala, and living with Lamar Odom, who is a recovering addict. However, sources close to the retired NBA player insisted the jackass alum didn't want to complete the program and tried to flee to Las Vegas. Meanwhile, Bam's wife, Nicole Nikki Boyd, filed for legal separation in February, citing irreconcilable differences. She is seeking sole physical and legal custody of their son, Phoenix Wolf, 5, but is open to supervised visitation if Bam cleans up his act.